You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It is The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by Sioux Falls Fireworks.org. Mr. Ferris, how are you, sir? Well, it's blowing out a few birthday candles here. Amazing. One of the most amazing athletes like ever in the world of athletes. Venus Williams has a birthday oh, today. I loved him on WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, that was Venus Flytrap. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> I know. She's a tennis player. I was just That's being silly. I know. Uh, Joe Piscopo made his made his bones uh, as a uh, cast player on SNL. I, I always thought him. he was a pretty funny dude. For a number of, I think he did the best Frank Sinatra impression oh, like, oh, uh, sure. like ever. And in case you don't know, and I'm sure you can stream it, he does a Monday through Friday morning radio show in New York City. Really? I didn't know on that. On AM 970, The Answer. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a radio guy. He still, you know, does Vegas stuff and does shows. Is this and show whatnot, syndicated but, uh, or just in New York? Uh, I think it's just New York. Wow. Yep, but again, that's AM nine seventy. The answer. I'm gonna have to tune in and check it out. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Let's just tune in and listen to that the rest of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I've just informed people to leave this show and go to Joe's, which is <laughs> they've left this show long ago. What are you talking about? I'm a marketing promotional genius. <laughs> See, what the heck else is going on in this crazy world of ours? It was this day in 1885, the Statue of Liberty arrives in New York City. That's oh, really cool. that's a big day. You know, it took gift a long from, uh, time France. before they put that thing together. Yeah, and it hasn't been toppled yet, but, you know, Thank it's, God. it's oh, early. Yeah. Uh, let's see, 1837, Charles Goodyear was the man's name, an old Chucky baby on this day reserved, uh, received his very first patent for that whole crazy rubber thing. That's really cool. That we're so Vulcanization. darn fond of. Yeah. 1631, This and I really had no idea. This is just a cool story. 1931, woman, Mumtaz Mahal, dies during childbirth, unfortunately. That's too bad. And her husband, Magal, who just so happened to be an emperor at the time, spends the next 20 years building her tomb. Oh, wow. We know it as the Taj Mahal. Oh. There's the origins right there. That was a long uh, for both of us. That Isn't was, that something? I didn't know that's what that was okay. all about. Yeah, I didn't either, which is why I kind of wrote it down and said, well, that's an interesting <laughs> that's story. That's why I wrote it down. That's why oh, I'm here. Been. And uh, now I know, and now you know, and uh, there you go. Very cool. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure, John, oh, you know, I thought should, should Heidi pass before you, that's something you would probably I would do. I'd tell her <laughs> the Taj Mahal. I would, I would probably definitely just do that. be... So have my ashes scattered on uh, the square no, she's party a, deck. She's in a coffee can somewhere in the shed. Why? Why it's does somewhere the, in a tote? Why does the Taj Mahal look like a giant wine bottle? <laughs> well, there's reasons. Well, Dan, thank you for that. Absolutely, update. that's really cool. Coming up here in a moment, we're going to get uh, Ranger Dan in here for a bit. Then we've got some entertainment news and some other fun stuff. It's all on the way. It is an action-packed Wednesday edition of the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by Sioux Falls Fireworks dot org. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good Good morning, morning, Ranger Ranger Dan. Dan. Hey there, small, happy little, cuddly, snuggly, loving little Mary Gabby. You, Lonnie, how the heck you doing? (laughs) (laughs) Heidi. Heidi. Oh, my goodness. Ranger Dan. Gracious. Just a little asides here, you know. Uh... Kind of remind me of a ruptured spleen. <laughs> Every time I see you, I want to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to some critter business here, shall we? It all starts with a little correspondence, a little uh, 
Well, some got <laughs> dropped in uh, in the mail just uh, late last night. Says here, dear Ranger Dan, love, 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 love your show. Pretty interesting. The other day, you're talking about armadillos, and I was wondering if armadillos make good pets because they're kind of cool looking, kind of nifty. Cool. Armadillos, also known as turtle rats or tactical <laughs> assault possums. <laughs> <laughs> Say your biggest fan, Arnold Lindquist. Well, Arnold, all right, can I call you Arnie? Here's the thing, you know, armadillos like a lot of critters. There's upsides and there's downsides. And trying to domesticate them, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. For instance, maybe on the downside, did you know the armadillo is the only other living creature on God's green earth that can contract and transmit leprosy? Really? Oh. Armadillos and human beings. Those are the okay. only two. So that's kind of a downside right there. On the upside, they can roll into a ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's pretty cool. Can. Got that going for you. Also, did you know that armadillos can inflate their tummies and their intestines with air and float across the water? Oh. So you can strap a little sail to them and have yourself a little armadillo regatta. That's right there on Lake Lorraine, not really alike. <laughs> And I want to share this story because it's an amazing story. And I promise you, Ranger's Honor, this is totally true. A few years back, well, I won't say his name. We'll just call him Larry Lindquist. <laughs> While trying to shoot an armadillo with a 9 millimeter pistol, had his bullet ricochet off the armadillo shell. That bullet ricocheted off a fence, went through the back door of his mother-in-law's mobile oh. home, through the back of her recliner, and shot her in the back. Holy oh cow. Oh, my goodness. Now, Mr. Lindquist, upon questioning, total investigation, he was just cut loose and free to go. So in answer to your question there, Lonnie, Ellis, Arnie, whatever the heck your name was... <laughs> You got a hen pecking mother in law? Yes, armadillos can make an amazing <laughs> pet. <laughs> That's all the time we have today, little Radio Rangers. Hope you learned something. I know, gosh, gosh darn it, I sure did. Keep in mind what doesn't kill you makes stronger, except for bears and murder hornets. Those will kill you every darn time. This Ranger Dan, out, say it with me. Yes, sir. Each month you have these things called bills. They have to be paid. It's part of being an adult, not the fun part, but it's important. So if you can find a way to cut some of these expenses, it makes that bill day a little better. At insurancechicken.com, we'd like to help. Our site allows you to see what several different companies have to offer all in one place back out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com is it time for you to cross the road see if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com time now for water cooler talk brought to you by sioux falls fireworks.org mr dan ferris in the studio right now in the news chair at the news mic sitting right next to his coveted news award that's it I what get, do we have uh, for today sir i get the tough answers i shine my little flashlight under the dick seedy side of actually a uh, big thanks to don jorgensen over at kello tv for letting me rip this story off <laughs> uh there's been sticker shock i know i've suffered when i go shopping when uh, the the beef thing man the, the meat thing the beef thing yeah it's like Whoa! Holy cow! Well, those prices are going to start coming down. They already have a little bit. Good. Been a supply and demand thing, of course. If you're very familiar, and it wasn't just Smithfield Foods here. It was meatpacking oh, plants everywhere, all over the place. They were know, shut down. To some regard, were either totally shut down or real limited in production and whatnot. Or as the news <clears> said, <throat> they were shuttered, which I think is a funny way to say shut well, down. Well, and then when you look at all the other businesses that that affects, I mean. Most every restaurant was shut down, too. Well, restaurants buy a whole lot of beef, boys and girls, and again, yeah. supply, demand, and so a lot of cattle producers were just keeping their powder dry and hanging on to their herds or inventory and everything else. Growing and, them a little longer, yeah. And one thing led to another, and there you are. What? Yeah. $23,000 a pound for <laughs> New York Strip? I Boy, I bet that's really good. That might be a bit high, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, you saw the huge price jumps, and now they're going to start coming down. Even ground beef was kind of ridiculous. Right. That's already easing back a couple bucks a pound, and good. you're, you're going to see the difference uh, <clears throat> starting now. So uh, most every plant is back online. If not full production, they're getting close. Yeah. So there you go. I just thought I'd 
thought I would share that. Nice. I, uh, the uh, beef okay. counts is involved in everybody else, and, and a lot of folks have been going, well, price gouging, price gouging. It, it really not, wasn't. No. It supply demand. Wasn't. When there's right. no supply, the right. demand is high. Yeah, What's going to happen? Yeah, when you look at the big picture, where yeah. does this start? What is the process? Yeah. How does this end? It, it really wasn't. And expenses know, go up when there's, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of yeah, factors that are involved yeah, here. Yeah, a whole so. lot into it. Yeah, oh. so I just thought you should know that, and, uh, and thanks. Well, that's to, all good. Thanks to Georgie for filing that story, so I could go clickety click. Oh look, oh look, <laughs> I can do this segment without doing any research whatsoever. <laughs> well, since you didn't do no research, I'm going to tell you something that I learned. Uh, we got uh, Smithfield Foods as one of our sponsors on the Fourth of July events. Yes, Fireworks. which is Thanks, very nice. Thank that's you. Fantastic. Uh, round of applause for Smithfield Woo! Foods. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've got a friend who works there, and I noticed uh, like somebody had a sign that said uh, "Thank you for all your hard work," and it had like slices of bacon. And I've seen you know bacon from there before, but I sent a friend of mine. I was like, "So do you guys make just bacon, or what else do you make?" And he's like, "No, we make a lot of stuff. So they make lunch meat and they make hot dogs as well. Do you know what brand of hot dogs they make right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, for a million dollars, Dan?" Oh, I would have settled for a station T-shirt. Oh, that's <laughs> probably what you because I don't have a million dollars. So. Oh boy, so many hot dogs, so many choices. Can't no, people be, are calling. The million's not for you. So <laughs> can't be Nathan's. Oh, it's it is. Nathan. What? Cow? Right? What? Cut him a bad check for a million dollars, <laughs> or just throw me another station T-shirt. <laughs> no, Nathan's hot we'll dogs. Just sign over the million dollar check you wrote me last week. Oh, that's right. You guys keep passing. <laughs> we, just, we just keep passing so that's back bad and paper forth. back and forth. Party Bad I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so Nathan's one of the finest yeah. dogs in all the world. Comes yeah. from Smithfield. Yeah, oh, they they make great? them in Sioux Falls. Well, that's a little feather in our old. Yeah, it cool. is. I think we should be, have billboards. There should be signs. There should definitely. Huh. I mean, that's awesome. So uh, I'm I'm thinking when we get done with this fireworks thing, I've been already been, like building some inroads with the Smithfield folks. I'm gonna we're gonna figure out some sort of Nathan's hot dog event. We got we have to. I think so too. We have yeah, to. I agree. Because I right. think every year when they do the big hot dog eating contest, which is like is a Fourth national of July. thing, yeah, I think Coney they, Island. they use, I believe, Nathan's product. They do. Product. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like tied to it already. Okay. So. Good stuff. Very cool. Thank you so much for uh, coming in with your report there, and thanks to Don Jorgensen for doing Dan's work. I was going to say, that was absolutely <laughs> the least I could do. <laughs> it's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. 2020 has become quite an interesting year. Many people have been cooped up for way too long. We're excited to join hundreds of friends for a fun time in Cancun this October. Hear awesome music from Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, Billy Idol, and many more. The Sands is at the end of October, and we are ready for a vacation. I hope you will join us. We've been to this event for many years, and it is so much fun. Get more information and reserve your spot at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for a bright spot of news. It is brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. And our bright spot of news once again today is going to focus on the Sioux Falls fireworks. I'm going to give you some updates of things that have come through as of yesterday. We're working on some additional developments today and over the next few days, but hopefully we're going to wrap up and shore up all of our sponsors and have everything completely done for the next few weeks, and then we'll have a big fireworks show coming up on the 4th of July. So first and foremost, a huge thank you to Right at Home, in-home care and assistance. We talked about that a little bit yesterday, but they're one of our sponsors that just came back on board. And a huge thank you to Tony and the crew over there. Great, great people. But I also want to say thank you to Foley Heating and Air Conditioning, a good group of folks at Foley's Heating and Air Conditioning, Travis and William, and uh, they have come on as a sponsor for our fireworks as well. And then another sponsor that's just joining us right now is called Track to Trail. It's an Arctic Cat dealer, and they're on uh, Russell, right across the street from where the fireworks will be shot. And they even said, you know, if some people want to come over there, they sure can. And I've got a food truck that I believe will be parking at Track to Trail. We're working out the details on that, but there's not a lot of restaurants up in this area. So uh, we've had food trucks reach out and ask if they could be there. So we said, well, we'll see if we can find you a place. And the good folks at Track to Trail said, yeah, we'll, we'll let a food truck park out front. So, again, working on the details for that. 
Another place that's going to have a food truck is Northview Bait and Tackle. Talk to Matt. He's the, the proprietor there. Super nice dude. And and uh, believe we're going to have an ice cream truck parked out in front of Matt's place. And uh, if, if it's not there, it'll be somewhere else. But I'm pretty sure that's where the ice cream truck will be. And a huge thank you to the folks from the ice cream truck for being there. And uh, this is going to be a great way for people to get something nice and cool while they're waiting for the fireworks. Again, that's right up the street from where the fireworks will be shot off. They'll be shot off at Elmwood Golf Course. And the best place to view the fireworks will be kind of up in that same little area there. Uh, we've got permission to park at the arena. We've got permission to park at Howard Wood Field. We've got permission to park at uh, Canary Stadium, but just along the far edge out by the road because they're going to actually have a ball game now on the 4th of July, which is really cool. So if you get out there early, you could take in a ball game and then come out and watch the fireworks. That'd be a really, really good way to spend your 4th of July. Uh, if you would like to get involved somehow, certainly reach out to us. There's room for some additional sponsors. I've got a few more people we'll be reaching out to today to kind of get things finalized. But we've got our television ads starting this week. We've got our billboards up now. We've got the radio ads on right now. Got the social media being updated daily. And just it's it's been so cool to see so many people pull together and say, hey, we want to help save the 4th of July fireworks in Sioux Falls. Thank you to each and every one of them. Because we couldn't do this without our sponsors. So, first of all, huge thank you to Sunny Radio and Fox 7 presenting sponsors, those two. And then, in addition to that, Market Beat. Huge thank you to Matt and Will and the crew over at Market Beat. And also Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. They've been a part of this for many, many, many years. And right now, you can go out and contribute to their fireworks fund. You can give them 10 bucks. They'll give you $10 in gaming. All of the details at Grand Falls Casino. Stop and see them at the Resort Club. Also want to say thank you to Notaboom RV, Excel Energy, Car Swap, Smithfield Foods, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and Big Paws Canine. In addition to those, like I said, we also just added Right at Home and Foley Heating and Air Conditioning and Track to Trail. All of those are our new sponsors. And again, if you are interested in coming on board and being a part of this somehow, the website is SiouxFallsFireworks.org. You can reach out right through there or get a hold of me here at the radio station. Either way, We'd love to work with you to help make the Sioux Falls 4th of July bigger and better than ever. Again, all of the details at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Thank you for listening to this Bright Spot of News brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Small businesses are the heart of our community. As things get back to normal, I hope you'll go out of your way to do business with locally owned businesses in your area. We've been so pleased with the response of our gift card challenge that we're going to keep this going. If you can, buy an extra gift card. You can use it yourself or give it to someone who needs a little help right now. When you buy a gift card, remember to post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge. Learn more at giftcardchallenge.org. Time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Hello, celebrities are fabulous. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Sometimes out of the world of sports, athletes, they can get that celebrity spotlight as oh, well. Yeah. Case in point, you know, I gave kudos during the NFL draft this year to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, who I'm not a big fan of, but he did a great job. You said that, yeah. Doing the draft thing. Yeah. And then when he gave up a bunch of his salary to help pay for other administrative people in the NFL, it's like, and now he's right back to dork status. (laughs) I'm seeing that online. Well, he jumped on the uh, the main train for social justice, and again, I can't stress enough. I've been a huge fan. Well, I'm a Vikings fan. I'm from Minneapolis, and I've yeah. been watching the team, you know, not win a Super Bowl for the better part of sixty years in my life. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't watch it for those reasons. And now, as you know, big dust up. It would have been about four years ago. A quarterback for the San Francisco Forty ers Colin Kaepernick, started a big brouhaha by taking a knee during the national anthem. Now, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said he supports and encourages teams to sign quarterback Colin Kaepernick. It's mm-hmm. like uh, what? What? In an interview with ESPN, is he a really good uh, quarterback? Was he? He was just adequate. He was all right about six, seven years ago. Well, think of it this way his last season as an active player, starter for the 49ers, which was 2016. Oh, wow. He started 11 games. He had one win, 10 losses. Oh, yeah, so that's not, not a good well. Record. It's yeah, it's stellar. a it's a team sport, but he went one in ten. He had a fifty nine percent passer rating, which is barely half his average yards per pass was six point five. Sixteen touchdowns, four interceptions. So now he was a total wash his last season in the league. 
total okay. wash. And now he hasn't suited up in almost five years. So, but he did it like a practice with somebody a while back. I remember, <laughs> which press- wasn't which well, wasn't impressive either, from what I read. He totally ruined that thing too. Which you know, when you watched that process, he interjected, said, "Well, we're moving this thing," and then half the teams involved that came to actually watch him work out because they were interested said. Uh, he just changed the venue and changed the rules, so we're not interested. We're not going. Yeah. And then when you so watch, so he's trying to show how easy he'll be to work with. You don't want some drama queen on your team; it's going to be a problem. And what ended up with that when he was doing that, and he moved the venue when you watched the tape, and it was really kind of funny. He was okay, right? But he had two different receivers working out with him. One of those receivers got signed. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's amazing. How impressive. So the whole thing kind of blew up in well, in that's... in his face. And now Goodell is going, you know, even if a team doesn't pick him and somebody really should, blah, 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 you know, based on what I don't know. But he said, uh, Colin Kaepernick has, has a seat at the table with the NFL because he can give us insight. To... Uh-huh. Hmm. And again, I you well, know what? I, I don't have a dog in any of these fights. Me but, either. And I don't think I'm alone here when I say all the years growing up being involved in athletics and watching sports, I didn't sign up for this, man. Yeah. No. You want to? You wanted to watch you're the game. Sport. Win, lose, to be draw. You're great at all what you stuff. do, man. I think it's amazing, and I, yeah. and I like doing it. But uh, you know, and now it looks like Major League Baseball might not happen either. What? The owners are going, eh, eh, we don't know. We had uh, a lot of money here and blah, blah, blah. It's a good thing I'm not interested in any sports. Because that was set <laughs> up. A bad year for that. That was set up to reschedule to half right, a yeah, season. That's what you were just saying. Play 80 games, yeah. limit what divisions, play what divisions, so there isn't right. as much traveling and everything else. And now it looks like that's unraveling. Oh, so. Do I need to get involved, Dan? Do I, don't, I need to make a phone call? I don't know. I just, I, I just... Uh, Oh, my life's in shambles. I don't blame them. I mean, a lot of the cities that they would have to travel to right now are in the middle of disarray. Would you want to send your team into a a city that's on fire? Yeah, as far as as Major League Baseball goes, all all the players are going, just tell us when and where. We're ready to go here. But the owners are now mm, kind of holding their cars, and it looks like it's a money thing. Oh, okay. Well, without ticket sales. Yeah, without people in the seats, how how you pay all these guys to play. Yeah. Well, Dan, one more reason that I avoid sports. I have no idea what the last five minutes was about. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to cut those cords, too. That's all there is to it. I think I'm going to start a full contact badminton league. Ooh, Ooh hey. Right. Now you're talking. Right. Here we go. Full contact mini golf. Yeah. Ooh, Loving see? this. I, there could be like some content right there for ESPN as well. Do something. I think we should do, instead of sand volleyball, we should do a sand bowling league. Because that, Sand bowling. Yeah, that would be very difficult. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Sure, you betcha. My it's pleasure. The John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by Sioux Falls Fireworks.org. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out, too, at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Wednesday, June 17th. The equity markets went on a wild ride on Tuesday after a shocking retail sales report. The May retail sales report shows consumer spending jumped 17.7% from the prior month as business and shoppers get back to business. Analysts have been expecting the figure to be positive, but this figure is more than double the expectation. For those betting on a strong post-pandemic recovery, this is good news. The risk now is to the upside. All future data points are likely to show improvements from the previous release, if not come in well above the estimates. Investors should remain cautious during the melt-up because what goes up must come down. Sooner or later, the market will become overvalued enough to spark the next round of selling. If that coincides with the second wave of COVID, the selling could rival what we saw in March. Remember, you can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at MarketBeatMinute.com.